Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. And last time, we're going through this dungeon here that we made for ourselves, and this time, we're going to be heading over to the last part of the dungeon, over to the, uh, west. So, uh, yeah, and I'm not sure exactly how I should go there. I think I'm just going to have to go through this room to probably get there the fastest. Maybe. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's up. No, not quite yet. Next room. There we go. Oh, hey, it's this boss. It's uh, not been too long, I don't think. Let's just finish him off, though. Nope. And there we go. Finished him off. Let's keep going. Let's see what's next. Oh, hello, Hinox. It's such a shame that every time I see a Hinox, it's just gone. So sad. You know? It's just so sad. Okay, oh, don't burn me. Let's go ahead and pick this up. A single rupee. In this day and age, is uh, about as the same value as any other rupee. Okay. Let's just go ahead and try to... Nope, okay, I'm bad at this. That's fine, I knew that already. Easy. Okay, let's keep on going. Oh, I can actually turn to the west in this next room, since we've already cleared this area. Oh, hello. <laughs> this isn't going to last long. It didn't long last long the first time we did it. Oh, come on, hit it. Ow. There we go. That poor fish it was just hanging out in its little cave, and I came and ruined its day because the doors were locked. Couldn't I have just found a key? There we go. Let's go pick up our chest. It's so nice having the boomerang to take out some of these enemies really quickly. It's so helpful. I'm gonna take out the wall master so he can not bother me for a little bit here. Oh, hello, Moldorm. You're not gonna last long. Unless I completely fail at everything, but that's doubtful. And now I think we're very close to having everything. We can head down south now to the boss area. Oh, except for that room there. How did I... How, oh, my goodness. What have I done? That's that, that room's not connected to any or anything else. I probably should have checked that earlier. Because now I have to backtrack. Which is fine, I guess. There's no enemies in my way. Here we are. Go in here. And it's a boss. Okay. Can I boomerang you? No? Okay. Oh, nice. I don't know how that worked, but it's fine because I was. I, I did it. Oh my goodness. Two bombs and a chest. Also, the spark from the bomb is still on top. was still on top of the chest. That's fine. 20 rupees. I didn't know you could set chests on fire in this game. It would possibly have been funnier to actually open, no, have the bomb explode as the chest appeared. As the chest appeared. Oh, don't fall in the hole. Oh my goodness. So now I can clean up the last few rooms. And the room before the boss has nothing in it. It's just a pass-through room with some hearts in it. 
So that's going to be very close to being done then. This is just a path through with a chest in it. Okay then. A green rupee! So much rupee. So much rupee. Ow! Don't... Link. Link. No. That works. Let's just go ahead and open this. Last chest, so it should have the nightmare key. And now let's go to the end through the tunnel. Here we go. This is fine. Ab ab absolutely fine. Ow! Oh, Link, stay over here. Go, 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 go. And there we go. Hello, Wallmaster. Please don't grab me while I'm trying to collect hearts. Because that would be quite unfortunate. Okay, one more. One more, and he's dead. And that's the last time he was ever seen in this dungeon. There we go. It's like he was actually f finished off because we we're at the end and he's not going to respawn again. But it's, 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 it's like I actually defeated him. In a way. Oh my goodness, so powerful. Oh, jump link. Just get it. Just get it, just link, please just get it. It's so close, there we go. That only took a little bit of time. The whole dungeon took a while though. Skull arrangement clear. Okay, and for all that we get yes another 300 rupees. Adding to our many, many rupees that we have now. Which is about 4,169. Nice. Let's see, what do we have left? I don't think we have a lot left. So, uh, we might be just about at the last dungeon. The supreme shape, other than free mode, but I'm not gonna, I'm, uh, I'm just not. I could make a, a random full dungeons, but I, uh, I just, I just wanted to get through the main challenges. The last challenge is another fill-in job. Why this shape? I just like it, that's all. Use it to make a, sh a dungeon I'll like to, okay? Okay, we don't have to place any extra rooms in for, um... Nightmare or... Well, what's it called? The entrance? Sorry. We just need to place in all the rooms that we need to have to get through. And then we'll be good. I'm not sure how I want to arrange this exactly, but I'm gonna figure it out. I don't think I want to do that. I'm gonna go over here and do something similar. I want to. I want to try and make the symmetrical again because symmetrical is cool. Um, I could also do something. Well, that's a bad idea, but I like it. Do something like that. And maybe that. And then same on the other side as well. Do that one there. And that one there. Might have some pass throughs here or something. Like there. And there. Might have a boss. There. Actually, no, I'm gonna swap this around. Have the Great Fairy at the very end, even though I'm probably not gonna need it at that point. Oh, I just realized the mistake I just made, but it's fine because it kind of works out alright, so. Let's put you there, and you up here, and then that one there, and I think that one there, okay. And I should probably get those corners as well. Put you there. And you being this one, I think. Go there. Okay. Okay, um... What if we do something like that there? 
and that there. And then that there. And that one there. And then we need the corner pieces. Oh, not. Hang on. Whoa. This is not going to be symmetrical because there's a block. There's a block there. Hang on. Game. Did you really just do that? How dare you. Let's put that one up there then, I guess. And just, uh. A random room there. Probably. Actually, I need to do this on the other side as well. Need to have one there, and then I could make a point in this room, but I kind of want to use this one. Okay, there we go. Let's put in some uh, two ways. This is an option. If this is a required path now, so could put in the lava one again. Let me do that. I could put this one in, but it's so pointless because there's no chest in it and it doesn't go anywhere else. It's just a trap. So I I guess I'm going to fall for it when I do get there, though. Because I I don't re usually remember where, what's in a room. Okay. Let's put in a few more rooms here. No, no. Not that one. There we go. This one here as well. Okay. And then... Finish it off with some of these. Oh, but actually, this, since this is the, this is the uh, required path, let's put in some bosses. Just to make it a little bit more challenging. And there we go. That was so easy. Let's start off by just placing bombs in every room and then overwrite stuff. I think that's probably just the easiest way to do it. Here we go. Okay. So there's no restrictions in this dungeon, so let's go ahead and put Dark Link here. And Wallmaster here. Now to double some enemies. Just like all of this. Okay. Let's put Rupees in the final room, which is the eagle, interestingly enough. And then, let's put hearts into the fairy room, which is a nice combination that I have, so I really like putting hearts in that room, so. Let's get started on this dungeon. 23 chests, 3 keys, and that's about it. I think the one of the keys is actually the, um, the boss key, so, or well, the nightmare key as it's called. So, really, we're just doing great, so let's get started. What could possibly go wrong? I put I put Dark Link in again. Am I gonna regret it? Who really knows? Oh my goodness, this is not the greatest room to have the Warm Master spawn in. Because I have to wait for him to spawn in someone so I can kill him already. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Let's do this. Just like that. And I think I'll go up first. Probably? No. Hang on. Maybe I should do something like go up first and then go back down and go the other way. I think that's the plan. Let's keep going with it then. Cut through all this. Okay. I don't want to spawn in Dark Link just yet. So let's go back now, since it's going to make it easier to go back through this room. And go this way. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's the annoying thing about these jumping enemies, is they actually just break the platforms for you if, if you need them. 
Oh, very nice. Oh, but I need to be careful of the War Master. Okay, let's get you into your position. Here we go. I love how they just all explode at the same time. Five rupees. Let's go this way. And because I pressed that button earlier, I don't have to do it now. Which makes it a lot easier for in here. Oh yeah. Shadowlink time! Don't, don't. Don't, don't, don't. I kind of want to kill you, but I also want to keep you as long as possible, probably. Do I? I don't know. Just run. Oh, this room. This is a room. Ow. Ow. Hit the pot. Break the other one. Let's just speed run the rest of these. Okay, and now any damage done to him will affect him. One. Two. Okay, last one. Here we go. I think? No, maybe not. So maybe it does do damage. A small amount of damage whenever you're doing previously. There we go. Okay, just run, just run, just run, just run. Oh no. Oh no. Ow. Okay, grab that, go. Just go. It's a good thing you get. Oh no. I might actually uh, die. Oh, man. Please. Thank you. I'm gonna get hit immediately, aren't I? Yep. Okay. Grab this, and then I have to figure out where I'm going. I think I'm going... Right or down? Right. Oh, this is a good room. Probably. Can I please kill him now? Oh my goodness. I'm doing alright for hearts right now, so I probably can just leave him for a little bit. That room really helped though. There we go. Oh, please break the jar. There we go. So many bombs. What is this? There we go. Just gonna break this open a little bit more. It's got a crack in it. Fairly big amount of crack in it. So many cracks. Ah, fire. You can't insult me. You can't burn me. That takes a long time for him to come out of that. There we go. Easy. He just takes a while. Now, a few more rooms on this side. Oh, like this guy with Shadow Link. Well, that works. Jump slash for days. Oh, the music started. Ow. Get him, 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 get him. Jump attack. Oh, jump slash. 
Jump slash. Jump slash. Nope. Oh dear, the fairy's gone. I might skip out on that for a second. I was hoping to use the fairy to heal, but he just he left. Ah! I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, not fine. Oh, he's stuck. <laughs> he's so stuck. Ah, uh, this is a good room, probably for restocking fairies. As long as I can get this finished. Is he stuck because I got, we, we walked up the stairs? That might be funny. I think he's stuck in midair. Okay, there we go. That's an actual hit. Please eat the thing. Nope. I don't think he's going to get to that one either. Too slow. Oh, this is interesting. To say the least. Go from here. Oh, he's back. Oh, but he's still stuck. I might be able to get a hit on him. Possibly grab the fairy. Oh, there we go. He's done. That works. Need some fairies now. Now, the only other problem I'm going to have is the Warmaster. Cool. It's not as impressive as the other dungeon I made with the treasure chest in it. Since it was a long linear dungeon. And I'd. I had the choice of Dark Link or, or Shadow Link or the Warmaster. Can you please eat this? Can you? Thank you. There we go. Let's grab this fairy and this chest. There we go. I think Dark Link's too easy to kill, possibly. Wish you could set enemies' health and damage. That'd be cool. <laughs> it, could, it could be really, really difficult. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.